Happy Thanksgiving, all of you out there that have clicked on this video. May all of you have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night whenever you click on the video. I greatly appreciate all of you guys, and without you, I would not be here right now. I've been making content since 2014, and I was like, you know what? I've never actually made a Thanksgiving video. I have never made a Thanksgiving video showing me kind of cooking, like, authentic ramen. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to show you guys... Or not really sit down, I'm standing right now. But I want to show you guys how I make my old-fashioned authentic ramen. And FYI, it's a, it's a very secret recipe. Like, it's very difficult, very secret. But once you find out, you guys are going to be blown away. I, I'll tell you, it's, it's fantastic. But, okay, with that out of the way, let's begin cooking. Let's go over what we need to start actually making this old-fashioned authentic ramen. So first things up, you're going to need, obviously, you know, a ramen packet. I got this one. I ordered it from Amazon. Not a sponsor or anything, but I really like this. Very spicy. You need a pot of water to be able to be boiled on high. You need a nice, good, deep, you know, ramen bowl, like very deep with a, you know, a, fo a fork or chopsticks if you have any chopsticks. And the secret ingredient is what we can see here. Regret sauce. Basically, super, super hot sauce. Now, I know everybody's thinking, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa chibi. Are you joking? Is this is this a meme? No, I um, I I eat hot sauce a lot. Like I, I love spicy food, so this is literally not a joke. It's got like over a million Scoville. I usually put a few drops in my ramen once it's done. So yeah, we'll see where that goes. But anyways, um, let's get our ramen packet open and let's get into what we're gonna be eating. As we can see here from this packet, we have the uh, the sauce, this hot spicy sauce right here. We also have some of the seasoning that you can put in on it. And that, that's, this is honestly the best part. Like, you really need this to be able to have good food. And then we obviously have the very authentic ramen noodle that we're going to be putting inside of the boiling water. So, but before we do that, we're going to start boiling this water. So, I'm going to set the thermostat here to literally on high. So, yeah, we'll give it a few minutes and then, you know, I'll be right back with you guys when this starts to boil. So, I think the water is at a pretty decent temperature right now. So, uh, let's go ahead and put our ramen inside of that. So, let's get this um, out of the pack here. As you can see, I'm struggling with one hand. But, let's get the ramen out and then let's put it inside. This is a very delicate process. You got to do it very carefully. You don't want to burn yourself. So, now that the ramen is in there just sitting, we can take our fork from the ramen bowl and then we just shove it on down there. You just you stab the ramen and you, you shove it on down there to try to make sure that it gets cooked rather quickly but we don't have to waste as much time waiting for the water to boil. So th th like this is the reason. It's like a process. As long as we do this, you know, it'll be done quicker. See, look, the noodles are already falling apart. Like, look at that. See, you can tell this is authentic ramen when the noodles are already starting to fall apart because of the boiling water. So, um, while we're waiting and all that, I guess I'm going to take a few mo uh, moments to talk with you. So, um, just wanted to say, guys, you know, I love you. I love all of you out there. You guys really have made my life just so much brighter and happier. And I know I say it every so often. I say it through community posts or I say it on, you know, YouTube. But I really do appreciate all of you guys out there that, you know, watch these videos, any of my videos, honestly, and leave a like, comment, and stuff. It, it really does mean a lot. And... I get I I can get emotional honestly. I I can cry a little bit, like happy cry, because just how much you guys really mean to me. You guys have really changed my life and really meant so much to me on all these years since I've been making content and just I really appreciate all of you. I really do. I don't want to ever take you guys for granted. I really do appreciate every single one of you that continue to always look after me and just, you know, shout me out, etc. Just Thank you so much, and I really do hope you guys are enjoying this video. I really do, but let's get back to looking at our ramen. So, with our ramen right here, as we can see clearly, the ramen is pretty much actually already cooked. You see? That, that, that's the process of boiling water. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to turn off this, uh, this heat right here. We're going to put our ramen bowl right here. We're going to put it right there, and then we're going to just... As we can see here with this, we are just going to pour this inside. So a little bit of water, actually. We gotta do that, there we go. And there we go. So we got a little bit of ramen in there, and we got that, so I'll put the pot to the side real quick. Okay, so that is that, but it is without the seasoning. Okay, so let's pour this uh, spice inside of it. So this is the 
the spicy sauce that comes with the ramen. As you can see, all oh, that looks so good. Oh, let's see, look at this. It's super, super delicious looking. So once I got that in there, that hot spiciness, we got to put the next packet in. So the next packet will be this packet. So give me a second to be able to do this because it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Now we're moving in the second packet. So the second packet right here, we got the nice little seasoning going inside of it. Like, look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Looks so freaking good. And then the last ingredient, which is what I showed you guys earlier, is the Regret Hot Sauce right here. So you gotta make sure you're very careful. Even for me, this right here is so hot that like, I, I need like milk because it, it, it's just, it's super hot if you were to do too much. So normally what I like to do here is I like to take it very slowly and then I just make sure, I do it delicately because I do not want to burn myself. Just do a few dabs like that. There we go. And then we are concluded with that. So the ramen, theoretically, with all of this, is completely done. So now I just gotta like, you know, mix it. Like, look at that. Oh yeah, that looks absolutely delicious. Oh, this is gonna be good. The broth is gonna be good too. If I had actual eggs and stuff, like I've had eggs and like I had like uh, jalapenos, I'd probably put an egg in this when it was boiling. And I also would have, you know, chopped up some jalapenos and put this inside of it as well with some mushrooms. This would have been absolutely fantastic. But I don't have those on hand and all the stores are kind of closed since it's the holidays. But, um, and also it's uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. But um, yeah, so here is my authentic ramen. So just give me a second and I'll show you guys if I like it or not in just a moment. So now that we got the ramen nice and finished, let's uh, let's do what I normally do. So usually when I'm at this point in process, like when I'm you know done with the ramen, I grab myself a very, very nice like pillow. Grab myself a pillow to be able to put on my lap. And I get myself like some napkins, which I have right beside me. I put this on the bowl for I don't burn myself, so to speak. And I just move it towards my lap. And then I put on myself some good anime. That's what I do. Probably uh, put on Uncle Asekai later today, FYI. The, the new episode of Uncle Asekai airs today. Let's look forward to that one. But uh, what I do is pull up an episode of anime. I get myself some ramen. Got myself my water. And then I just uh, proceed to eat. So... Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hopefully all of you are having a, a really good day. I know this is a little bit of a meme video, but uh, hopefully you guys got to just relax and chill. I don't know. I just wanted to do a nice little, you know, relaxing vlog video, honestly. I don't know. It just did something special I want to do. Hopefully it wasn't too cringy or whatever and you guys enjoyed it. But um, thank you so much, everyone, that uh, watched it and all that. Uh, let's just see if this ramen's good. Woo! Hot! That's spicy. Man, my glasses are fogging up. But that's good ramen. See? That's the secret. The spice. When you feel like your throat is about to burn out, that's when you know you did good. That's when you know you made legit ramen. So, um, with that out of the way, thank you so much. See you be out. Happy Thanksgiving.